place tidied up in no time. And oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so busy tidying up the farmyard. I didn't see all of you there. Hello, everyone. I'm sure you can shout much louder than that. Here we go. I said, hello, everyone. Oh, that's much better. Lovely to see you all, and thank you so much for coming to visit us on the farm today. It's always good to see a friendly face, and even better when that face becomes a friend. Hey, would you all like us to be friends, everyone? Yeah. I said, would you all like us to be friends, everyone? Yeah. Oh, that's much better, because I'd like that too. The only trouble is... We don't know each other's names, do we? And we can't be friends properly if we don't know each other's names. But don't you worry, I've got an answer to that, and it's this. What I want you to do is shout out your names as loudly as you can after three. Here we go. One, two, three. That wasn't bad, but let's do it even louder. Really raise the roof after three. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, that was much, much better, you noisy lot. So I think I heard a Mark, a Toby, a Laura and a Matthew, a Thomas, an Alex, a Harrison, Anna, a Smelly, was it? Yes, yeah, Smelly. It... Hang on a minute. Did you say Smelly over here? Did someone say Sm Oh, Sammy, I do beg your pardon. In which case, now we've all been introduced to each other, let me say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a very warm welcome to... Marty McDonald's farm. <laughs> That's me, Marty McDonald. Hey, what happened was my uncle, old McDonald, he retired and put the farm up for sale. And guess who bought it? That's right, me. But he left the farm in such a state, as you can tell. And there were animals that lived here before he put it up for sale. We'll have to get them back a bit later on. But also, look at what he's left lying around the place. Look, I mean, he's left the yard in... In such a mess, how did he look at me? This is old McDonald's old hat sitting around just here. He's also left the gate all wonky and wibbly just up here too. And last but by no means least, something else that needs doing is look at this. The barn needs a lick of paint, doesn't it? Oh, there's so many jobs that need doing around the place. I'll never get them all done on my own. Hang on a minute. Now that we're all friends, will you help me with the jobs around the farm, everyone? You don't sound too keen. I said, now that we're all friends, will you help me clean up the place, everyone? Ah, yeah! oh, that's much better. I knew I could rely on you. Now then, what needs doing for... Oh, first things first, this path is really messy. I think it needs sweeping. So let me get my broom from just over here. And what I want you to do is show me your sweeping too. So let me see your sweeping like this. Brush, brush, that's it. Sweep, sweep, very good. Show me your sweeping, everybody. Oh, very good sweeping just there. Well done, everyone. You know what? With that kind of help, we'll soon have this place cleaned up in no time. So, sing along and join in with the action. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, sweep the path. If you're happy and you know it, sweep the path. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, sweep the path. Hey, join in with the actions now. Well done, everybody. So that's the path switch. Next up, I'm thinking this gate here looks a bit wibbly wobbly, doesn't it? So, I'll get my hammer just here. Show me your hammering, everyone. With a bang, bang, very good. A bang, bang, that's the way. Bang, bang, here we go. Let's fix this gate. All together now. If you're happy and you know it, fix the gate. Bang, bang. If you're happy and you know it, fix the gate. Bang, bang. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, fix the gate. Bang, bang. Ah, oh, that's much better, isn't it? Well done, friends. Now, what else do we need to do? I think something else we need to be doing is painting the barn just here. So let me get my paintbrush. Show me your paintbrush in two like this with a brush, brush, all together. So if you're happy and you know it, paint the barn. Brush, brush. If you're happy and you know it, paint the barn. Let's see everybody happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, paint the barn. Brush, brush. Oh, well done everyone. That was terrific. You know what though? I think this 
still a bit more sweeping, a bit more painting, and a bit more hammering that needs doing. So let's put all three together, loudly as you can, because if you're happy and you know it, do all three, sweep, sweep, bang, bang, brush, brush. If you're happy and you know it, do all three, sweep, sweep, bang, bang, brush, brush. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three, sweep, sweep, bang, bang, brush, brush. Woohoo! Thank you so much for your help, everyone! Wowie! Woohoo! That was exhausting, wasn't it, everybody? Let me just pop this down here. And how much more spick and span does the place look now? It's terrific. Thank you so much for your help. The thing is, we've got so many jobs to do because we need to get the farm up and running as soon as we can. Otherwise, we won't be able to grow any crops. And otherwise, there'll be no more farm. Oh. It's worse than that. I said, otherwise, there'll be no more farm. Oh, oh that's better. Thanks, friends. I knew I could rely on you. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What's that noise? It... Oh, look! Crows gobbling up my corn. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, what do you think you're doing? Excuse me. No, excuse me. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> Watcher, are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you. What do you think you're up to? Allow me to introduce myself. Yes. My name is Crafty. Oh. Crafty the Crow. Right. And these are all my brothers and sisters. Oh. Say hello, gang. Oh, oh thanks hello, so much for inviting me. Hello, Crafty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'm guessing... You must be one of the McDonald's, right? That's right. I am Marty McDonald. <laughs> in that case, you're just the person we need, Macca. Really? Uh, of course I am. I'm in charge now. <clears throat> what is it you'd like to know, Crafty? Would you like to find out about the farm? See which crops we're going to grow? Ask about the animals? <laughs> no. To ask if you've got any ketchup we can have with this. <laughs> ketchup? <laughs> Gobbling up my corn? Get out of it, you shoot! Go on, go away! Taste, taste, taste. Uh, oh, what are you going to do about it? Why do you think old McDonald sold the farm? Oh. He knew he couldn't stop us, yes. and neither can you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Crafty the Crow is right, you know, everyone. And... No, he's not. Hang on a minute. I've got the answer to our problem. Mr Crafty, you stay there. Your crow munching days are over because old McDonald left me. <laughs> Take a look at who? Him. Sydney the Scarecrow. Isn't he good, everyone? He'll put a stop to Crafty and the Crows, won't he? So, Mr. Crafty, what do you think of Sydney, eh? Scared, eh? Worried, eh? Frightened down to your feathers, eh? <laughs> oh, Marty. Yes. Oh, Sydney. Yes. Oh, everyone. Yes, yes. Oh, I've just got one thing to say about Sydney. And what's that then? <laughs> <laughs> But he's even less scary than looking at you, Marty. And Ew. that is saying something. Cheeky? <laughs> no, scruffy old scarecrow's going to scare this crow. Don't listen. So, see you later for dessert. Come on, you lot. Time we worked here. Oh. Gotta fly. Ah! Oh, get off oh, the get out of it, you shoot! Shoot, shoot. go away! Oh. And stop <laughs> gobbling up my corn! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, everybody. I thought Sydney the scarecrow was going to frighten Crafty and the crows, didn't you? But... Oh dear, I'm sorry Sydney, your crow scaring days are over I'm afraid. Which means, you know what everybody, we're going to have to think of a different way to stop Crafty and the crows gobbling up all our corn. And when I put my thinking cap on earlier, I thought to myself, what every farm needs is animals, isn't it? Now, old McDonald, that's right, animals, yes, animals. Old McDonald earlier on, he said to me there were animals that lived on the farm, but they went on holiday when he put it up for sale. But they should be back from holiday by now. I wonder where they can be, these animals. Um, animals, animals, animals. Hang on a minute. What's that noise? Can you see anything, everyone? Oh, yes, it's the bus. This might be one of the animals coming back from holiday now. I'll just take a look. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, it is everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome back from holiday, Pongo the Pig. Hey. Howdy, howdy, doody, everyone. Hello there. Hello. Oh, I said hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, that's better. Yes. Let me hear you say this. Let me hear you oink. 
Oh, Very fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> Pongo here. Yes? Pongo the pig. Hello. And it's just great to be back home on the farm. Oh, yes. Can you guess where I've been? Oh, no. Um... I've been on holiday. All oh, right. Oh, I did have a fabuloso time, you know. Wow. Well, who wants to know what I did? I do. I can't hear you. Do you want to know what I did? Yes. All oh, right then. What did you do, Pongo? I wibble. Yes. And wobble. Oh, wow. It's lots of fun to do. <laughs> Let's wibble. And wobble. Yes. But you can do it too. Good idea. If you're feeling down and you're feeling right. low, then jump in the air and go, go, go. Ah. Let's wibble. And wobble. It'll make you feel as good as you. Oh, great to I have you here. like to wibble too, everyone. It's brilliant fun. We should all wobble, shouldn't we? You know what? I'm one glad you're here. There's so Plenty much to of do time for, for that, Marty. Oh. There's more wibbling to do first. Great. Here we go, everyone. Everyone stand, Come on, stand up. Let's, let's see you on your feet, let's everybody. Wibble. Everybody stand and up. Wobble. That's the way. It's not stand so up, everybody. Let's see you stand and up let's nice wibble. and tall. That's and the way. And let's all do some wibbling. Shall we like this? Make sure you see you in the air and go, 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 I really love this wibbling pongo. It's great, isn't it? It's even better when you add the wobbling. Ooh. Right, everyone. Let's see you all standing up and yes. wibbling and wobbling all together this everyone time. Everyone stand up now. Let's go. Let's see Whoa. you wibbling. Oh, let's wibble. wibble. And wobble. Hey. It's not so fun. Nice to wait. Very good, sir. And let's wibble. wibble. And wobble. wobble. You can, can do, do it too. Wobble. <laughs> <laughs> you down. Hey, good wibbling. Then jump in the air and go, 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 go. let's wibble and wobble. It'll make you feel as good as you. Let's wobble and wibble. Great wibbling. It'll make you feel as good as you. And for you, Pongo. Come on, everyone, let's see you doing the air guitar. Yes. Farmyard style. Let's see you doing your air guitar farmyard style like this. Let's see you with your air guitars, everybody. Woohoo! Very good air guitar just down there and down there, sir. Let's see your air guitars over here. Oh, very, very good. Oh, well done, well everyone. Done. That was brilliant wibbling and wobbling. Oh, I'm exhausted after all those jolly jelly wibbles, aren't you, everybody? But, Pongo, it's great to have you back on the farm. Now we'll soon get the place back on track. Oh dear, what's the matter, Marty? Oh. You look like you could do with a holiday too. Oh, Pongo, there's so much to do, I don't know where to start. What I do know is we've got to put a stop to Crafty and the Crows, haven't we, everybody? If we can, that's right, yes. If we can just keep them away a few more days, then this corn will be ripe enough to sell at next week's market and we can earn enough money to save the farm. <laughs> well, don't you worry, Marty, oh. because what I've got is just perfect to earn us some money right now. Is it? Well, what? That's oh. right, it is. Well, well, what is it, Pongo, and where? In my other little suitcase, just over there. Oh, in your other little suitcase, just over here. Oh, let's have a look then. Uh, hey, oh, hey. This one, you mean? <laughs> That's the one. Other little suitcase, indeed. Whew. Now, Marty, open her up yes? and you'll see just the ticket to earn us some money at today's market. Never mind next week. Oh, fantastic. Just the ticket for the market, you say. Brilliant. Let's have a look at... Just the ticket for the market? These? Oh. That's right, these. Oh. <laughs> this is my brand new joke book. Yes? And I wrote it myself. And I'm working on a second one already. Oh, really? Oh, well, um, what makes you think that this could raise money for the farm then, Pongo? Well, we can sell them at the market, Marty. You know, today. Let's do it today. That's all very well, Pongo, but what makes you think people are going to want to buy your piggy jokes? Just that this happens to be the funniest, yes. laughiest, yes. most chucklesome joke book that I've ever written. Oh, great. How many joke books have you written? Well, I mean, there's, um, yes. uh, well, of course, the, um, yes. <laughs> not forgetting the, um, yes. one. Oh, Pongo! <laughs> Listen, I'll try some of my farm jokes on you, oh, yeah? Must you? Oh, all right, then. Right, OK. Do you want to hear a joke, everyone? 
Oh, oh, here dear. we go. Oh, dear. I say, I say, I say. Yes, yes. What kind of ties do pigs wear? Well, we don't know. What kind of ties do pigs wear? Um, pigs ties. What? Pigs ties? Pigs Get it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. No, it's not. That's a terrible joke, isn't it? Oh, mm. is it? Oh, well, what do you think of that one, everyone? Mm. <laughs> um, OK, then. I'll try another. Go right. on, then. You'll like this one. <laughs> it's a great one. Oh, right. really? I say, I say, I say. Yes. What did the pony say when it had a sore throat? All together now. We don't know what did the pony say when it had a sore throat. <laughs> I'm a little horse. <laughs> Get it? I'm a little horse. <laughs> not that bad. is comedy gold. Yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, I'm thinking I like that one a bit better. What do you think of Pongo's jokes, everybody? Yeah. Do we like Pongo's jokes? Yeah. Oh, Pongo, it seems like you might have a few customers after all. Go on, give us one more. Go all on. Right, right. I I've saved my favourite till last. Right. right. Yeah. I say, I say, I say. Yes. What do you get if you cross a rooster, yes. a cocker spaniel, yes. and a poodle? Hmm, all together now. We don't know. What do you get when you cross a rooster, a cocker spaniel, and a poodle? A cock a poodle do! <laughs> get it? <laughs> cock a poodle -doo. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> oh, Marty. <laughs> oh, Pongo, you know what? I'm thinking you are right, actually. Your joke books are terrific, and they're just the kind of thing we could take to the market to sell to raise money for the farm. You know what, though? I think we should take them to the market today. I can see it right now. What we'll do is set up a stall to sell your joke books, and then, with the money we raise, we can buy something very, very special to keep a stop to, to Crafty and the Crows, and that way, keep them away and stop them eating the corn and save the farm. <laughs> and that's not all, Marty. Really? I'm writing a second joke book already. Oh. Yeah. So that should help the farm even more. Yes. <laughs> when I've got uh, enough jokes to put in it. Oh, you mean you run out of jokes, Pongo? Well, it's not easy being funny, you know. Although you seem to be doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky. That's rich coming from an old ham like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? With all our new friends here, I bet all of you know some good jokes, don't you? Uh, hey, everyone. Do you know some good jokes? Do you? Oh, great. <laughs> well, seeing as I've got so many funny friends, why don't all of you think of your very best and funniest joke? Then you can tell them to us a bit later on. That's a very good idea, Pongo. In fact, let me just get your joke bucket here, Pongo. Listen up, everybody. What we're going to do is pop this bucket, Pongo's joke bucket, on the market stall in the foyer during the interval. And what I want you to do is think of your favourite joke, write it on one of these pieces of paper with your name and age, pop it in the bucket on the market stall in the interval, and we'll read them all through, and we'll read out the best ones when we come back from the market. And Pongo's favourite one can get a prize as well. How about that, Pongo, yes? Oh, very, very good. OK, and you know what? Now you're here, we can also sing everyone's favourite farmyard song. Now, can you think of a farmyard song that has got my name in it, everyone? Anyone think of a farmyard song with my name in it? McDonald's? <laughs> Have a listen to this. Which song is this, everyone? It's... That's right, old McDonald had a farm. So, let's all sing together and join in with the oinks. Here we go. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, park the bus, stop the tractor. Thank you for your singing, everybody. It was terrific, but we can't sing any more of the song, can we? We haven't got any more animals. We've only got one animal on the farm, and that's Pongo the pig. And you can't run a farmyard with just one animal, can you? And another thing, that's how the song went when my uncle Old MacDonald ran the farm. Well, I'm not Old MacDonald, am I? I'm Marty MacDonald, but that doesn't fit, does it? Listen. Marty McDonald had a fight. That doesn't work at all. What can we sing instead? Uh, I've got it. What about young McDonald? That fits, doesn't it? Yes, that fits perfectly. Hang on a minute. 
Can someone say middle aged McDonald? It might be a bit better. Well, that wouldn't fit in the song at all, would it? So next time, we'll sing Young McDonald, okay? Young McDonald had a farm. Well, I'm saying next time, that's providing any of the other animals ever get back from holiday. Uh, I wonder where they can be. Were they with you, Pongo? No, Marty. It was just me. Really? The sun, the sand, the sea, and my sombrero. <laughs> oh, where did you go then, Pongo? Porksmouth. <laughs> Porksmouth. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Not Portsmouth, yeah, oh. but Porksmouth. Yeah. <laughs> now that is a goodie. <laughs> I'll have to put that in my next joke book. You see, this is why we need your help with the jokes, everybody. Well, all right, Pongo, we'll come to that a bit later on. First things first, though, if the other animals weren't with you, I wonder where they can be. Uh, let's have a think, everybody. What other animals could we have on a farm? Come on, shout them out. What other animals could we have on a farm? A cow's a very good idea, yes. A sheep's a very good idea too. Did someone say crows? No, we definitely don't need any more crows, everyone. No more crows. We've got too many crows on the farm as it is quite frank. Uh-oh. I think I spoke too soon. It sounds something like those crows are... Uh-oh, here they are. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Well, hello there. Hello. Crafty, what are you doing back so soon? What do you think we're doing here? Yes, we've had our breakfast. <laughs> now it's time for tea. Oh, uh, we'll be back to put in later. Oh. Tear out. out. Go on. Ah. Oh, and by the way, yes? I've got a joke for you. Have you watched that then? I like jokes. <laughs> Young MacDonald had a farm. Yes. Young McDonald. Yes. Young. Yes. Young. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, oh. <laughs> See ya. She could get out of here. <laughs> and still <laughs> gobbling up all the corn. Yeah, yeah, Go on, shoo. <laughs> Go away. Shoo, shoo. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You see what we're up against, everybody? Now we've got to think of a way to stop Crafty and the Crows from closing down Marty McDonald's farm. First things first, though. We were talking about animals, weren't we? And somebody said cows would be good. Somebody, somebody said a sheep would be good on a farm. Yes, a sheep's a good idea. Sheep, yes. Mm. Do you know, Marty? Yes. There used to be a sheep who lived here. Did there? But our friend Sheena the sheep. Oh. I wonder where she can be. Mm. She can't be far away. Yes. She should be back from her holiday soon. Hmm. Well, where did she go? Oh, no, don't tell me. Woolwich. <laughs> no, uh, oh, sorry. don't be ridiculous, sorry. Marty. She went to Battersea. <laughs> oh, Get it? Battersea. <laughs> Not Battersea, but... Battersea. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. Oh, it's a goodie. That's another one for my next joke book. Yeah, yeah, don't overdo it, don't overdo it, Pongo. Well, if Sheena the sheep wasn't with you, I wonder where she can be. Let me ask our new friends. Have any of you seen Sheena the sheep, everyone? I said, have any of you seen Sheena the sheep, everyone? Oh, no, me neither. Mm, oh, in that dear. case, we'd better call for her. Good idea. OK, everybody, after three, call for Sheena as loudly as you can. Here we go. One, two, three. Sheena! Well done, but still no sign of her. Let's do it again even louder. Here we go. One, two, three. Sheena! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I still can't see her, can you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yes? This reminds me of someone else who had trouble with her sheet, too. Oh, but... Oh, yes! Someone in this song. Now, everyone sing nice and loudly now, all together, and we'll see if Sheena can hear us. Join in with the actions, too. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they will come home, wagging their tails behind them. Oh, well done, everybody. Have you all heard of Little Bo Peep? Oh, great, great. Let's sing it even louder this time, then. Don't forget the actions, either. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they will come home, wagging their tails behind them. Um, oh, dear, still no sign of Little Bo Peep. Oh, dear. I'll go and see if I can find her over Thanks, here. Thanks, Pongo. Oh, what a helpful thing. <laughs> here we go. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they will come home, wagging their tails behind them. Hey, great singing, everybody. Tell you what, let's all call for Sheena after three. Here we go. One, two, three. Sheena! Oh, well done, but I still can't see her. Oh, dear. At least Bo Peep's story ended happily. 
like this. Little Bo Peep, she fell asleep and dreamt that she was all alone. But when she awoke, she pulled back her cloak and saw that her sheep had come home. Hey! Ha -ha! <laughs> Look who it is, everybody! She never sheep! Let's give her a round of applause to welcome her! Oh, lovely to see you, Sheena. We were a bit worried about you. We couldn't find you. But it's great to have you back on the farm. In fact, I'm so pleased to see her. Let's give three cheers for Sheena. Here we go. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. There we are. She... Oh, no. She seems to be a little bit shy. She... She's gone again. Oh, no, she's gone again. I wonder where she can be, everybody. I'll tell you what, if I look out for Sheena, if you see her, shout out and let me know where she is, okay? Let me have a look for her. Here we go. Sheena! Sheena, where are you? Sheena, Sheena, Sheena! She, she's what? You can see. Where is she? Over here. Oh, thank you very much. I'll just go and see if I can see her then. In that case, Sheena, right. Oh, hang on a minute. I can't see her at all. Were you tricking me, everybody? Are you sure you weren't tricking me? Oh, in that case, let's look for her again. Keep your eyes open and I'll look for her too and shout out if you see her. Here we go. Sheena! Sheena, where are you? Sheena, Sheena, she... She's what? She... Oh, she's just here, is she? Oh, thanks so much for your help, everybody. I'll just take a look at it. Oh, she's gone again, everybody. Must have been a trick of the light. Let's really keep our eyes peeled for her and shout out if you see her one more time. Here we go. Okay. Sheena! Sheena, where are you? Sheena, here, girl. Sheena, 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 Sheena. Sheena, the... she's what? She, she's just up here, is she? I, you know what? I think you're tricking me again. I really don't, really don't think you're right, but I'll have a look just in case you see. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Sheena, the sheep, is here after all. Well done, everybody. Brilliant to see you, Sheena. Are you okay? Yes, I am, Marty. Oh, great. I'm just a little bit upset. Oh. Why are you upset, Sheena? Because I know I've got lots of lovely new friends and they're all being so kind to me. <laughs> oh, Sheena, you are among friends here. There's me, Marty McDonald, Pongo the pig's here on the farm as well and we've got lots of new friends as well, haven't we, everybody? Sheena, you mustn't be upset. Be happy. It's brilliant to have you here and we need everyone's help to fix up the farm again. In fact, that's why we're going to the market a bit later on to do just that with Pongo's joke books. So actually, is there anything you can bring to the market, Sheena? To sell at the market? That's right. Oh dear, I'm not sure. Um, well, let's have a think. Are you any good at telling jokes, Sheena? <laughs> Are you? No, I'm not very good at telling jokes, Marty. Oh, well, don't worry. Everybody's good at something that nobody else is, aren't they? We just need to find it now. What is it that Sheena could bring to the market, everybody? What are sheep good at making? What does sheep make? Um, oh, that's right. Brilliant idea. The thing that sheep are wonderful at making is wool. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, Marty. Wool. That's right. Wool is what we sheep do. And it's shearing time of the year, so all of my friends in the field can give you their wool too. Oh. And what we've made from it. Oh, yes. Look at this, Sheena. Thank you so much. We've got lots of woolly jumpers. We've got lots of woolly hats, woolly scarves, all the colours of the rainbow. We can sell these at market and make lots of money. Thank you, Sheena. Oh, I'll just pop them over here with Pongo's joke books. <laughs> and now you're back, Sheena. We can all next verse of our favourite farmyard song, can't we? You know what, this time, let's have the boys doing the oink oinks like Pongo the Peaks and the girls even louder if you can doing the ba like Sheen and the Sheep, okay? Here we go, all together. The young McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O Boys, with a oink oink here and a oink oink Very good. Here an oink, there an oink, every That's year an oink oink. Young McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. -E Brilliant job, boys. Let's see if the girls can be even louder doing the buzz. Like our Sheena. Here we go. All together. Young McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. -E and on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. -E With a barber here and a barber there. Here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a barber. Young McDonald's had a farm. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Sheena, right, ooh, 
she has gone again. Perhaps our singing was too loud. I thought your singing was wonderful, everybody, but she has gone. We've got no more animals. Oh, to keep the farm going, what are we going to do? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It uh oh, look who it is! Oh dear! Watch a macker! Oh, hello, piggy wig! Put in time already, eh? And I'm not even talking about a you, macker! Yum, yum, yum! Ah! Beats packing a picnic this! Toodaloo! Oh, shoo, go away, you! Go away! And stop gobbling up our corn! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! You see what we're up against, Pongo? We've got to put a stop to Crafty and the crows. Otherwise, we won't be able to grow any crops. And otherwise, there'll be no more farm. No more farm? That's right. No more farm. Oh. No more farm? That's right. No more farm. No more farm? Well, that's right. That's what I said. No more farm. <laughs> we didn't say that, Marty. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, oh, no, we didn't. Hang on a minute. Well, if you didn't say that, then it, mu it must have been all of you. Did all of you say no more farm? Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, let's not start that. It's not pantomime time yet. Well, hang on a minute. If you didn't say no more farm, and you didn't say no more farm, and I didn't say no more farm, I wonder who did. Hmm. Oh, it sounds like there's someone at the door. We'll sort that out in just a minute. Oh, Sheena Pongo, will you go and see who that is at the door, please? Yes, Marty. Oh, thank you very much. Well, fancy that. Our first visitor here at Marty McDonald's farm. <laughs> I wonder who it can be. Hmm, maybe it's... Oh, oh, oh um, it sounds like there's somebody who's still there. They must need my help. I'll be back in a minute. I'll just go and see who it is coming. I wonder who it is. <laughs> Moo! You may well ask, dear. It was me, dear. Here, dear. Molly Moo the cow, dear. Hello, everyone! Now, I'm sure you can do much better than that. I said, hello, everyone! Oh, well done, dears. That's much better. I knew you had it in you. Oh, I couldn't find anyone at the front door, everybody, but somebody left this cart outside. Oh, um, uh, hello there. Uh, I'm, um... Marty I'm... McDonald. Yes, I know. <laughs> I've heard all about you. Oh. I'm Molly oh. Moo. Yes? Molly Moo the cow, dear. Oh. I've been on holiday, but I thought it was high time I came home to help. Oh, <laughs> well, it's brilliant to have you here, Molly, and I hope you had a nice holiday. Where did you go? <laughs> Over to the Isle of Wight, dear. Oh, to ride? No. <laughs> To cows. <laughs> oh, don't you start with a rubbish jokes, Molly Moo. Pongo the pigs are oh, bad enough. Oh, is he here too? Yes. Well, it sounds like you need all the help you can get. Oh, yes. Now, what's all this nonsense about the farm being in trouble? Oh, Molly Moo, Molly Moo, I only wish it were nonsense. Worry not, young man. There'll be no more fretting. Oh. I'm here to help get everything just so. Oh. That's why I've brought that oh. to help you get started. Spit spot now. Time you are unpacking. Oh, this is yours, is it, Molly Moo? Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Let's have a look inside here and see what we've got. <laughs> we've got a... Ooh, we've got a wrench and a sombrero from your holiday and... A feather boa! Oh. oh, yes. I was wondering where that got to. Yes, that's for when I go to the movies. Oh. <laughs> uh, the rest is for you. Now, first things first. Yes. You see that sign? The one that says, for sale? Yes. Well, the first thing you need to do is let everyone know you're in charge now. Right. So get that wrench, right. turn the sign around, yes. and get it sorted out, dear boy. Get that wrench, turn the sign around, and get it sorted out, dear boy. OK, let's loosen this sign. Here we go. There we are. Turn the sign round. For sale, gone. And tighten this up again. Here we go. Hey, you look at see, that. fret not, my Marty. Trust in your aunt Molly, and you can't go far wrong. Oh, well done. Fantastic. What does that say, everyone? That's right, it says sold. It's just the thing we need to show everybody that Marty McDonald's farm is back in business. <laughs> just what this place needs to help make it marvellous. 
And that's not all. So I see. Uh, what are all of these? Oh, uh... Something to cheer the place up a bit. Yes? Old MacDonald hasn't decorated this place since the Queen's Jubilee. Last year? No, 1977. Oh, <laughs> In that case, oh, tell you what, in that case, let's use it to decorate the farmyard, shall we, everybody? OK, let's untingly tangle all this, pop this up on the front of the barn just there, and then everyone will see that Marty McDonald's farm is under new management. Ta-da! And you know what, Molly Moo, you can help with something else, too. We're off to the market to make some money to keep the farm going, so uh, what can you do at the market? Are you any good at telling jokes, Molly Moo? No, I'm not very good at telling jokes, Marty, dear. OK, well, are you any good at making wool, Molly Moo? Are you? No, I'm not very good at making wool, Marty, dear. Well, don't you worry, Molly Moo. We're bound to find something that you're good at. Oh, that now, nobody... now. I'm not worried at all. Oh. Just calm yourself, Marty, dear. Yes? If you just let me get a moo in edgeways... Yes? Please, you know your Aunt Molly. Yes? I wouldn't come unprepared now, would I? No, true. <laughs> I'm sure you can help us here. <laughs> now, yes? what is it that cows can make everyone? Hmm, what is it cows can make everyone? Uh... I said, what is it that cows make everyone? What is it cows make? That's oh, right! You've got it in one! Uh -huh. Milk! Yes! The thing that we cows are wonderful at on a farm is making milk! Uh -huh. And, young Marty McDonald, yes. if you open your eyes, yes. you'll see that not only does my cart make the perfect oh. market stall, but I've even brought some of your Aunt Molly Moo's most marvellous milk to go with it! Oh, fantastic, Molly Moo! That is brilliant news! In fact, then, let's make sure we... Pop your marvellous milk just up here. And let's all sing along to Molly Moo's favourite song. Here we go. Five milk bottles sitting white and tall. Five milk bottles sitting white and tall. But in one milk bottle should be brought from our store. There'll be four milk bottles sitting white and tall. Only four milk bottles? That's one and one and one and one. Because five take away one is four. That's right. Let's see you holding out your four milk bottles, everybody. Hands in the air like this. Four milk bottles, sitting white and tall. Four milk bottles, sitting white and tall. But if one milk bottle should be the wrong as There'll be three milk bottles, sitting white and tall. Just three milk bottles now. That's one and one and one. Because four take away one is three. That's right. Let's see your three milk bottles, everybody. Hands up high now. Here we go. Three milk bottles sitting white and tall. Three milk bottles sitting white and tall. But if one milk bottle should be for my school, there'll be two milk bottles sitting white and tall. Farmyard song. So let's start off 
with the boys pretending to be Pongo the pig again with your nice loud oink to raise the roof. Here we go, and don't forget Young McDonald, okay? Here we go. Young McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. Just the boys with an oink oink here and an oink oink there. He would oink, there would oink everywhere and oink oink. Young McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well done boys, let's see if the girls can raise the roof with Sheena the Sheep's bass. Here we go everybody, all together. Young McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a Hey, well done everybody. Okay, last of all, all together now for Molly Moo's Moo's. Here we go. Young MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Young MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well done everyone, give yourselves a great big clap. Oh, terrific. And well done to you three as well. You know what? We're off to the market now, and while we're gone, is the perfect time to you, for you to help Pongo with his second joke book. Remember that joke bucket I mentioned, which is just down here? If you go to the market stall in the foyer, write down your favourite joke with your name and your age on the piece of paper just here, and the one who writes Pongo's favourite joke gets a prize, good eh? So let's pop that just down here, and while we're gone as well, keep an eye out for those crows. We don't want them gobbling up the corn, do we? Bye-bye, see you later. Come on, Molly Moo. Bye-bye. Bye. Scrum, scrum. That'll teach those silly animals to try and shoot us away from the farm. And we'll be back to stuff ourselves on those storms. <laughs> then there'll be nothing left of the corn, nothing left of the farm, and no one else for those silly animals to go. <laughs> <laughs>